Good evening and welcome to Sports Talk. We are now coming to you on a new night. This is our first Monday edition of Sports Talk, and every Monday at 7 o'clock you will find us here on Lake Region Community Television. And the winter sports season is well underway. Here we are into December, and as you can see, we have a new set as far as decorations because uh, it's Christmas. Christmas is coming. We have a nice Christmas tree behind us. I have a poinsettia alongside me, and it's just a, a cheery atmosphere to come to you in, and we're glad that you're welcoming us into your living room. Linda Hoggy and Maureen Grunewald did all the decorating, did a great job, and we'd like to thank them for that. Makes me feel right at home. So, Merry Christmas. We'll uh, be coming to you every Monday between now and Christmas and then following in the new year as well on Monday nights. Let's uh, give you a little rundown what we're going to do tonight. We're going to look at the scoreboard. We have a lot of early season games, basketball, hockey, wrestling, some gymnastics that we're going to cover. And we also are going to bring you a feature on Fergus Falls Community College and the basketball clinic that they are running for elementary kids, grades one through six in our area. We talked with Dave Retzloff about that. We'll be featuring that in the first segment of Sports Talk tonight. Sports Talk is being brought to you by Service Food of Fergus Falls and by First National Bank of Fergus Falls and Elbow Lake. And when we come back, we'll look at that community college basketball clinic right after this. Community College Basketball Clinic for elementary kids, grades 1 through 6. They're stressing fundamentals, and the college, along with Coca-Cola, sponsoring the Saturday morning sessions, four different Saturdays, two in November and two in December. Started last week, and Dave, let's talk about the origination of this. How did you get the idea for a Spartan Basketball Clinic? The original idea came from Irv Inniger at NDSU, and uh, Irv has been running his clinic up there for a number of years, and just has been a tremendous success. And uh, I was up there on a sabbatical a year ago, and uh, I got some ideas ideas from him and we have really been pleased with it and we're excited to be offering it. Let's talk about uh, Coca-Cola's involvement and the college as far as sponsorship and what the kids are getting as a participant. Well, we really need help on this and Coca-Cola has uh, you know, been graciously uh, helped us out as far as a sponsor and for the entry fee that we have, which this year is only $5, we uh, provide the young people with a t-shirt uh, from Coca-Cola and it has a basketball on it. It says FFCC Spartan Basketball Buddy. They get a uh, basketball, a nice outdoor basketball, and uh, every time they come, every session, we try and provide them with something. A poster, a bumper sticker today, and uh, we'll eventually have a team team poster and calendar and uh, some candy, these types of things. So we're trying to make it very enjoyable for the young people, and it's a low-key type thing. We don't have any games, we don't keep score, it's all fundamentals, and everyone has a chance to be successful at their own level. Plus, they uh, get to go out at halftime of a uh, ball game, right, and uh, show their skills to the fans. Right. We have some additional things. We're going to have two halftime performances by the Spartan basketball buddies, and they're going to show some of their ball handling skills and their form shooting and this type of thing. And those dates are going to be on the 19th and the 21st of December. In addition, then, after every session, as we will in just a few moments, we draw for a Spartan basketball game buddy. And uh, that young gal and young man man will uh, get a chance to run out with our Spartan teams. Uh, they will be introduced in the spotlight introductions with our Spartan teams and uh, sit on the bench while we're warming up, that type of thing. So we're trying to make it a fun fun time for the kids. Addressing the fundamentals, let's uh, go through the stages that you have here set up. Uh, what are the five areas that you are concentrating on? Well, the one station uh, we could start out with is dribbling. And the dribbling station is one where we're simply trying to uh, get them to dribble left hand, right hand, try to dribble with their head up. Uh, we do some things where they dribble backwards, they sit on the floor and dribble, uh, that type of thing. Basic, basic fundamentals. Get the arm extension, the fingertip control, and that type of thing. All right, station two. Station two would be um, a ball handling station. And the ball handling, they do some, once again, very basic things. They will uh, all start out slapping the ball, or they'll throw the ball up in the air and catch it, and then we progress to around the waist, around the head, around the ankles, uh, figure eight around the legs. We try and get them to uh, uh, do a little bent over walk with going in and out of the legs, in between the legs, that type of thing. And uh, just general ball handling type skills. Uh, they'll throw the ball up over the head, catch it behind their back, catch it front and back between their legs, those types of things. Just getting used to the feel of the exactly. ball. Exactly. Another station that we have then is
is a layup and defensive station. On the layups, we simply are looking to try and get them to, if they're right-handed, extend the course with the right arm and uh, bend and lift their right right leg. It, it's that basic. And for left-handers, just the opposite. Shoot off the fingers, uh, that type of thing. Uh, defensively, we want them down in what we call the athletic stance, just with the knees bent, the back up, and then we try to have them move laterally without crossing their feet and just getting them started on uh, you know, a defensive type stance or a defensive type look. And Station 4 deals with what? Station 4 would deal with shooting. And at the shooting station, we try and have the young people uh, release the ball with fingertip control. Uh, we try and we'll have them, for instance, just do it in the air, form shooting, where they simply just keep their elbow in and make the gooseneck, as we call it, with their wrist. And uh, then we'll give them a ball, and they'll shoot against the wall uh, just for form. Then they'll play catch shooting just for form. And uh, we'll have them lay on their back and shoot up in the air with the correct ball rotation and that type of thing. The final station is a passing station. And there we are just trying to introduce to them the different types of passes. The uh, baseball pass, the two-hand chest pass, uh, the bounce pass, uh, those types of skills. And, uh, of course, we want them to extend the arms in the pass, uh, release with the fingers pointing towards the receiver, and some of those basic fundamental things. And um, we try and, and encourage everybody, regardless of what their skill level is, because we're looking at grades one through six. And uh, we have some pretty little takers out there sometimes, and that's great to see. And uh, we're trying to give everyone a chance to have some success. Another nice thing about this program is the fact that it's hands-on experience for your ball players. Not only are these kids getting used to the game of basketball and learning the fundamentals of the game, they're getting to learn the Spartan program, the Spartan players on a person-to-person -person basis, and great experience for your kids who come from all around the region. Oh, it certainly is. And, and uh, you know, them teaching uh, the young people, having our players do that, like you say, is a great experience. And, of course, uh, you know, they get to relate to each other, too. And what we are looking to do, of course, is just to publicize our program, the fact that we do have some good quality people, the fact that we do have, uh, you know, it's another level or caliber of basketball that we'd like to invite people out to see. And uh, we think this is really going to be helpful in doing that and uh, certainly worth the time and effort that we put in. But it is a great experience for our young ball players, and uh, they really do enjoy it. And they're doing a super job. I'm really proud of them. They're, uh, uh, you know, putting in a lot of time and a lot of effort, and they deserve, you know, a great deal of thanks, certainly from our program and from the college. Judging from the response uh, of the community, this is something that's going to continue because you were inundated with uh, forums, weren't you? Yes, we really were. Uh, we felt we could take 180 uh, young people, and we had that filled in three days. It was absolutely unbelievable. They just uh, uh, swamped us. We unfortunately had to turn many people away. Next year we'll be running the same type of program, uh, maybe looking to expand it a little, uh, maybe looking to take a few more numbers, that type of thing, because uh, it, it's really gone smoothly for us, and uh, it's been very well received in the community, and we've had so many positive comments that uh, you know I really think it's a great thing. All right, I do too. Thank you, Dave, very Thank much. You. Dave Retzoff of the Spartan basketball team and coordinator of the Fergus Falls Community College. College basketball clinics where these youngsters grades one through six are learning the fundamentals of the game. Tonight, one half of the group joins us to demonstrate fundamentals learned. Introducing the 1988 Spartan basketball buddy.